wasn't the time for subtlety. Kick it in. There we go. They probably left by now. Because I wouldn't stay in a house that you think you set on fire and is gonna burn to the ground. Um, news cutting, telephone. Let's start with the news cutting. See if they left a clue to where Nico is. I'd found a piece of newspaper folded in two. It referred to a forthcoming eclipse of the sun. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be visible from Europe. Aww. The best place to view the eclipse would be Mexico. Mexico, eh? I have the sneaking suspicion that we might end up in Mexico during this adventure. Telephone. But... Well, we could call the police. But... Yeah, let's Much as just... I disliked him, Labino might be my oh. only hope of finding Nico. Oh god, we're gonna phone Labino. That snail. That slug. Hi, that... Andre. Who is this? It's George Stobart. Bastard. Nico's boyfriend? Don't you mean ex-boyfriend? Hey! I didn't call you just to pick a fight. I need to talk to you about Nico. Can't you accept she's just not interested What in happened you? between Listen, me and Nico? Andre, we need to talk. Nico's life depends on it. Okay. You remember the cafe at Montfaucon? Sure. Hey. <laughs> Andre? We're you visiting. Better show you creep. We're visiting I some uh, old locations. Urge to wipe my ear. Yes, my right ear loved that phone conversation very much. All right, is there more we can explore in the house before we meet Lobino? It was locked. Oh, not through there. I guess that's the front door. So let's leave. Oh. The door was locked. I didn't fancy my chances of kicking this door down. Oh, it looks quite large. Also, why did people that broke into the house then set it on fire lock the door behind them? And how did they lock the door behind them while the key was in a pot in the study where I was stuck with a poison spider? These are very important questions that need answering, but I do believe that then, as I said, this is the key to the house. There we I go. Unlocked the door. <laughs> Looks very pleased with himself. I unlocked the door. <laughs> I wasn't looking forward to meeting Labano again, but he was my only link with Nico. This face that George is making now has been the face that he pretty much has made. Ah, look at this! Pretty much made all game. There was no sign of Labano when I got to the cafe. I decided to order a coffee and wait for him. This looks really familiar. Is that the um? the police officer from the first game as well. Hello? Pardon me, but don't I know you? Huh? You were here the, the day I found the catacombs. I was. Oh, he is! Ah, yes. I remember you. Yeah. Are you still in the police force? No, not anymore. I'm a man of leisure. And what brings you back to Paris? Well, um, my girlfriend has been abducted by Mayans. My girlfriend. Ah, what it is to be young and in love. Will you share a bottle of wine with me? Hey, listen, I'd love to, but I need to keep a clear head. So my <laughs> company isn't good enough for you. No, no, I didn't mean that. I mean, I'm not in the mood to down half a bottle of wine. Well, I am, actually, because my girlfriend has been abducted by Mayans, but... I mean, it's, it's not really the most appropriate time of the day. It seems to be noon, so... Uh, ask him about Why himself. Why did you leave the police? I was forced to retire. The golden handshake. Only in my case, it was more copper than gold. How come? I was made a scapegoat to cover up the department's inefficiencies. Well, you have a goatee, so... If you're the only one with a goatee, people looking for a scapegoat probably wouldn't have needed to look far! <laughs> no? Yeah, alright. Have you ever heard of a Professor Ubier? No, monsieur. I don't recall the name. Well, apparently he's an expert on Mayan art and history. A little out of my field of experience, monsieur. If he'd been a serial killer or a sodomite, I might have been able to help. <laughs> a sodomite? Really? I did that kind of guy. What is he putting in his... glass of wine? That's a flask. I couldn't snatch the man's flask while he was looking. 
Why do we want to snatch the man's flask? Let's talk to him some more. Oh. Ah, a waiter. Waiter! Um. Can I order something? Can I order some What's wine? Drinking? It's wine. No. Can I? I'll have what he's having. What do you make of this news cutting? Of niche supplied fast food chain? No, it's the article above that. Oh! Total eclipse of the sun. Well, oh, that's very dull in comparison. I don't know anything about Total eclipse. eclipse of the sun. You don't know anything about eclipses. Well, it's really quite easy. It's the moon sliding in front of the sun. So its shadow is being cast on Earth. That's an eclipse. You're welcome. What do you make of this dart? I remember a case where the victim was killed with just such a device. Killed? The poison acted in seconds, causing his body to swell up like an inflatable life raft. Swell up? Oh, let's hope Nico didn't swell up like an inflatable life raft, because she's my girlfriend, and I want her to be in, you know, tip-top shape. And also not dead. Tell me what you make of this note. From my years of experience, I gained a pretty good insight into handwriting. I'd say that note was written by a compulsive, obsessive type with an Oedipus complex. Hey, ah. you got just about everything apart from the ponytail. <laughs> so, André Lobineau has an Oedipus complex. Really? Does he want to marry his mum? Interesting. Uh, ah, here's the waiter. Waiter? Please? Hello? Waiter? Oh, garçon. Uh, garçon. Uh, he ignored me. I'm sure it was deliberate. These Frenchies and their distaste for tourists. I'm not even a tourist. I've been living here for months. Oh, here he comes I had again. Nothing else. I wanted to ask the gendarme. Waiter. Keep hey refilling you. his wine glass, but. Well, I'd like a cup of coffee if you don't mind. When I finish serving this gentleman. You never finished serving that gentleman. It, it's, it's, his glass is already empty again. Come on. I had nothing else I wanted to ask the gendarme. Uh. Ah, here comes my coffee. Thank you. Un café. Thanks. Uh, can I ask the waiter about... Uh, maybe he knows Lobino. Has Lobino been here? Do you know a guy called Andre Lobino? Oui. I know him. What of it? Well, I'm supposed to meet him here. Did I miss him? No. I have not seen him today. Ah. Good. Have you heard of Professor Oubier? Oui. He married that actress, the little Dachshund. What? They used to come here. The nutty professor and the movie star. Did he marry a dog? No. Oh, of course, from the wedding, from the, uh, the the wedding photograph on the wall. If Oubier's wife was a movie star, how come I never heard of her? She was big in France. The world doesn't stop at Hollywood. Her stage name was Carol Climax. She died. Carol. In suspicious circumstances. Oh, she's dead. Still, Carol Climax. Are you serious? What kind of actress was she? <laughs> Not very. S I'm not very sure that this was mainstream movies. Do you know that man over there? I should think so. He's a regular customer. Okay. Uh, let's ask more about Carol Climax. How did Ubier's wife die? I heard he shot her and got away oh. with it. He had a good lawyer and a watertight alibi. Ubier shot his wife. Also being called a dachshund and probably. Acting porn. Why would an eminent public figure like Oubier risk everything for murder? He wouldn't be the first, would he? Besides, people like him always get off. <laughs> get off, eh? Huh. Look at this. A poison dart. Now we. Sure. It's the real thing. Knocked my girlfriend out cold in a matter of seconds. Romantic. <sighs> Sounds like a real close relationship you have going. George, don't tell people that. If you keep talking the way you are, people are gonna think you're insane. Well, they probably already do now, but also probably uh, incarcerate you. What does that guy keep pouring out of his flask? Absinthe. Absinthe? 
I thought that was highly dangerous and outlawed in France. It is. Don't look at me, I didn't sell it to him. That's all. Thank you. Absinthe is actually legal in Belgium. It's, uh, but it has the hallucinogenics removed. Oh! Oh, hi, Andre. Well, well, this is a surprise, Georgie. Her <laughs> face right before it disappeared. Ugh. I wouldn't normally call you. Ugh. But Nico's in trouble, Andre. Deep trouble. You have to help me find her. What? What have you dragged her into this time? I didn't it do anything! that recommended Professor Oubier as an expert on Mayan art. Now his butler has kidnapped her. And he tried to kill me. That was his Every butler? Every time she gets involved with you, there is trouble. Walking out on her was the best thing you could do. What? My father was dying, damn it. I had no choice. Well, she soon recovered once she went back to her old friends. Oh, so we... Drop it, Andre. Right now, Nico's in danger. And we have to work together. We're getting some backstory here. So, how can I help? Nico needed to speak to Ubie about a stone. Oh, you mean this stone? He has the stone! Is that why they kidnapped so her? that's what all the trouble's about. Uh-oh. Precisely. Nico told me to guard it with my life. Oh, it's worth more than that, surely. Oh, very <laughs> funny. What's funny is that your life really is on the line. What are you talking about? The stone is a Mayan artifact, dummy, and the guy who kidnapped Nico was from Central America. It was the stone they were after. If oh, they realize God, you mean I could be in danger too? that she doesn't have it, that's going to be trouble. Uh, let's show him the worm. Is this like your what penis? What do you think this is, Andre? I don't know. I'll give you a clue. It's got more backbone than you. Ooh. You think you're amusing, don't you? So is that where I'm gonna be the snotty tissue of a broken sword the smoking mirror? Like we show it to everyone, but it doesn't have a use until way, way later in the game. 